Hi, I'm DJ Schurz. In this video, we're going to introduce how to use the different Wi-Fi modes of the EZB V4. We first need an installation of EZ Builder. Visit the EZ Robot website at www.ez-robot.com. Click the download link. Download and install the EZ Builder for Windows latest version. Once EZ Builder is installed, Give your EZB power and wait for the boot up chime. The blue light will begin to flash. Now it's waiting for a Wi Fi connection. Visit your Wi Fi list and select your EZB. It'll be EZB V4 with a unique number next to it. Click Connect. Now let's load up our copy of EZ Builder. Because we're already connected to the Wi-Fi of the EZB, we now have the ability to visit the web server on the EZB to configure different Wi-Fi modes. If you click on the round icon for the selected EZB, you'll be able to view its web server. Here we've opened the EZB v4 Wi-Fi robot controller web server. We have the main page. We can click on the identify button to produce a sound on the EZB v4 to identify which one we've connected to. There are two different Wi-Fi modes that the EZB will operate in. One, which is a Wi-Fi access point mode. This is where the EZB becomes a Wi-Fi server which allows your computer or your mobile phone to connect to it. This is a similar way when you're at your house, how your mobile phone or your computer would connect to your router. There's also Wi-Fi client mode. This means that your EZB v4 will connect to your existing Wi-Fi network as a client. For example, this will make your EZB v4 like a computer or a mobile phone connecting to your existing network. So we'll first visit Wi-Fi AP mode. By default, this is the mode that is shipped with. Your SSID is your EBV4, EZB v4 7E. Every EZB will have a different SSID from factory. Your channel your security mode if you wish to add a password to prevent other people from connecting to it, and a security key. Keep in mind, your security key must be eight characters or longer. If it is less than eight characters, the EZB will flash red and require a reset by pushing the reset button when it boots up. So it must be eight characters or longer. You also have the ability to, to enable end mode. End mode will increase the speed but decrease the distance in which your EZB v4 can be reached by a mobile device. Once you've completed your information in the list and entered in your password, you can press the save button to save that password and save the settings. Your EZB v4 will now be reset and you will require the permissions that you've entered. We're not going to change that for this video though. The next setting is we have Wi-Fi client mode. In client mode, we can specify the SSID of our network. In this particular case, our network is called EZ-Robot. If I can spell right, there we go. Now if you look and don't know what your, your Wi-Fi network is, you can click on your Wi-Fi list and look at all the different networks in your area. You'll notice our network is EZ-Robot. Our security key, I can type that in. It is, I'm just kidding, I am not going to type that and I can push the connect button. It'll now save the SSID into the EZB v4 and my EZB v4 will connect to my network. Next I have diagnostics where I can play different sounds, align servos, turn it on off digital ports, or reboot the EZB. To connect to the EZB when in its default AP mode, simply use the default IP address inside of the address box and push the connect button. You will hear a connection chime when a connection has been established. And upon disconnect, you will hear a disconnect chime. If you ever need to reset the network configuration settings that are saved within the EZB web server, for example, if you forget your network password or you need to connect to a new network, you can push the reset button located on the EZB. When you push the reset button, I am resetting ECB network configuration. you'll receive a verbal alarm notifying you that it has rebooted. The future of 
products. Visit our website for the Getting Started tutorial www.easy-robot.com You're one step closer to enjoying your easy robot.